Hey, this is Bjorn Rebney, CEO and Chairman of Bellator MMA. You're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman for ProMMANow.com with the always beautiful and lovely Felice Aaron. How's it going? Good, I'm flexing for you. Oh, let's see, I can flex my cat. I don't have a six-pack right now. I just bought it and I went to a little bit after the fight. What are those? Oh, I don't know. Those are pecs. No, I don't have pecs. No. Okay, no. Oh, okay, you're manly pecs. Well, thank you. Nice thank you. pecs. All right, guys, that's what we do here at ProMMANow.com. Congrats on your great victory just at the last Bellator 84, the last one on MTV2. MTV2, yeah. Now they're signing over to Spike TV, getting ready for the big event in Irvine, California. And how were the ratings for that? Oh, uh, I don't know. I hear that they were the second highest ratings of the season on really? USC. So the, late, so, so the viewers do uh, tune in for WMMA action? Apparently they do. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of people out there on the Internet, you know, the underground, and stuff, they're, they're talking crap, they're gonna talk crap about whatever. What do you have to say to these people? Um, I'm laughing all the way to the bank. No, <laughs> that's me. No, I don't, you know, I'm I'm doing me, I'm being real, I'm being true to who I am, and if I, I and I'm also true to the sport, I'm true to fighting, and if I can do other things and enha that help enhance my career, then when I say why not? You're taking it seriously. For those that don't watch the fights like I do, technically you've grown so far in leaps and bounds in the last year and a half in, in the areas of grappling, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, your takedowns. You're not just a great kickboxer anymore. You're putting the entire MMA gambit together. What do you attribute that to? Uh, you know, I train at Team Curran. Um, you know, it's one of the best grappling gyms that, I mean, I've been across the country training at all different gyms, you know, and this is actually the best technical gym um, I've ever been at. Um, I love, you know, my coach is Jeff Curran. I get the chance to work with Pat Curran all the time. Uh, actually, you know, one of my best friends who I fought, Carla Esparza, um, she's the best wrestler. In she's the, a pretty good fighter. She's a pretty damn good fighter. She's um, the best wrestler in, in our division, if not in all of WMMA. She just won the Invicta title belt, and I'm blessed to... It's pretty you know, shiny, because it's right over there, and it's blinding me. The, the wonderful Carla Esparza. We'll get to her next. And I'm blessed to be able to work with her and have her show me some of her moves. And you've been using it. Right, how many... You did, like, three, four takedowns your last... Seven. Five. Seven! But no one was counting. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So you really are mixing it up. I mean, so, th you know, anyone that says, well, she's just looks, it's just outfits, it's, you know, they're not realizing the hours and hours of dedication and hard training you're putting in to evolve in the sport while they're sitting, you know, in their mom's basement, you know, eating I, some potato chips. I think they don't want to see it. You know, people want to find reasons to hate, and if you're getting attention and you're doing good things with your life and maybe they're not doing anything with their life, they want to find reasons to nitpick and to hate. And I'm not sitting there behind the computer picking on them or hating on them. I'm just out there doing me, you know, being real and and training and putting, you know, putting everything on the line, you know, when I fight. And now you're here supporting your teammate, Pat Curran. Yeah. Fights in two days on Spike TV at Bellator 85. What do you expect from that fight? You know, um, it's going to be an amazing fight. It'll probably be fight of the night, one of the more exciting fights on the card. Um, and Pat Curran, you know, he, He's always been the underdog in everything. He came out and he won the 145-pound um, as a last-minute replacement, you know, the, the tournament. And then he, I don't know, he won 145, 155. Even when he's down and out and he's losing a fight, he comes back like Marlo Sanders. Yeah, great chin. Yeah, great heavy right hand. And comes out and just dominates and has these awesome knockouts or finishes. And I expect that again from Pat. You know, I think he does so well because he's 5'9 at 145. He's got very long arms. Um, unless if you have that awesome wrestling pedigree background and you're that kind of short, stocky body type, which his opponent is, are you are you starting to find that too? I feel like reach and height, especially reach, not only with the jab, establishing distance, but, you know, crazy chokes, Darce chokes, V neckties that he's using. You know, um, I don't even know if it's his body type. Pat Curran is ridiculously strong. He's ridiculously talented. He just gets it. He picks up on things. He can... He's a freak athlete. He can do things that the average person can't. He comes in and he can tap out black belts. You know, Pat is just that good. And you don't really know it until you're around him. And people are starting to see it, but you can't really grasp it until you're at the gym training with him every day. And I get to train with him every day. And he is just that amazing. What are some of your favorite outfits that you've worn? You really do design those yourself? I do design all my outfits. My next one is so awesome, yeah. but I can't tell. I can't tell because... Can, can we get a sneak preview at ProMMA.com? Can you send a picture like the night before or something? Uh, probably not. I might uh, hint at it a Hint at it. Bit. Okay, drop the hint to okay, me. Okay, I'll drop okay. the hint. Okay. All right. So, not now. Later. Okay, okay later. <laughs> I'll wait for it. Okay, okay. Um, 
I don't know, I keep having to try to reinvent myself and having to top my last fight outfit. My last fight outfit was a schoolgirl, and I'm sure every... <laughs> I know that's I'm like every boy's fantasy. I'm not complaining. But, um, and it's not like I'm trying to be like, ooh, I'm going to do this because it's hot. Like, I have these ideas in my head. Like, I'm really creative. I'm, you know, I have like a marketing side to me, and I just was like, ooh, that would be a cute little outfit. So I design it, and I come up with it, and... That is what it is. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously, you're one of the best now. You, you've been doing great. It's like the time people gave you respect the sexuality, the, the looking hot, the outfits. That's just you being a woman, right? That's just extra. Guys are forgetting how hard you work and the dedication. Yeah, and I, and I think people like, all they see is one or the other. Like, they think that you, you can only be a great top athlete fighter and you have to go out there and you have to look like a boy and you have to look the part, or you can be super hot and girly and they, like, they don't see that you can bring it all together. I'm, I'm marketing myself, I'm promoting myself. I see myself as an entertainer. And I wanna go out there and look the part and I wanna be entertaining and I want people to wanna watch me fight. I wanna be aesthetically pleasing, not even just, not like with everything. You know, I want to go out there and I want people to want to watch me fight. Do you think it's beauty and creativity when you're fighting? When you, when you feel in the cage, you're like you're deciding what to do next. You're thinking, what do you, what's the thought process? Do you, do you feel like you're... It's reaction. Everything is reaction. Everything is also, it's like a killer instinct. You know, it's like animalistic. Like when I'm in there, like I think that I train so hard that I don't have to go in there and really think. Everything just happens. Like it's a split second and you just go out there and you do what your body is trained to do. Is that why you love it? Because it's pure? I love it. It's actually, it's the only time in my life where I feel like I can actually let go and not worry. Like, I'm I'm a worry wart. I am always inside my own head. So you're totally in the moment. It, it is. They call it a state of it's move. It's like a zen. In, 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 yeah, ancient, like, Japanese samurai culture that be move. Move. <laughs> so, um, where can people follow you? They can follow me on Twitter at Felice Herrick, F-E-L-I-C-E, H-E-R-R-I-G, or of course on my fan page, and I'm very interactive. <laughs> all right, tell the fans to always watch ProMMANow.com for all their information. Always watch ProMMA.com now for all your information. <laughs> Thank you.